Hey, before this video starts, I just want to mention, if you want to commission me for a video posted here on YouTube, come over to when I stream either here on YouTube or on Twitch at Retro Mario Twitch. But, let me not take up your time, enjoy the video. Hey, can I come in? Well, it looks like someone's awake. How you feeling? That's good to hear. I'm glad you're feeling better than before. I mean, with being stranded at sea and everything, I thought you were a goner. But luckily, you woke up, and now we're here. So, what's your name? I didn't catch it. Hmm. Nice name. Although I don't like telling my full name to everybody. You could just, uh, you can just call me Ace. That's what everyone calls me around here. Mm-hmm. So, may I ask how you got stranded at sea? Did your, uh, did your crew kick you off the ship? Did you get to a storm and you fell overboard? What happened? Ah, okay. That makes a lot more sense. There was a mutiny and you got caught up in the action, and then you fell overboard. That makes a lot more sense. They didn't really see you because they were trying to overthrow your captain. But luckily, me and my team, me and my crew, we saw you in the water. And we picked you up from the sea. And... Well, now you're here. <sighs> Look, I'm not gonna try to be the bearer of bad news here. But if your crew was trying to cause a mutiny to your captain, I don't think that's gonna be the right crew for you. I understand. Family is hard to turn away from. But sometimes, turning away from your family is the best opportunity you can have in your life. Same goes with me. I left my home, and now look at me. I'm living my best life out here. Making my name known to every single pirate and whatever world conqueror there is. Mm-hmm. Oh, trust me. My crew would never cause me any type of trouble. And if they did, well... I would have to talk to them. And... See if I can sort things out like an actual man would. Not with just brute force and whatnot. But if they don't listen, of course I can knock a few senses into them with my bare hands. <laughs> Here, kid. Drink up. Oh, what, you think it was water? That's sake. One of the greatest drinks you could have at all when you're on the sea. Yeah, it's alcoholic. Of course it is. Come on. Stop being a... Stop being a wimp. Drink it. 
There you go. Love to see that. So, where's home for you, kid? Oh, I see. You know, we just stopped there recently. Oh, yeah. It's about a few days down south from here. I would, but we already have everything packed on our ship here, so we can't really turn back until our next, uh, port comes up. Hmm. I'm not really sure. Hey, Navigator! When is our next departure at the port? Four days, sir! Alright, thank you. Well, it looks like we're going to be there in four days. No, no, no. I would never throw anyone that's on my crew off my boat. Yep, you heard me right. I said I would never throw anyone that's on my crew off my boat. Welcome to the spades. Well, I see potential in you. There's nothing wrong with that. And plus, we have plenty of food, plenty of riches, plenty of weaponry, and plenty of sleeping quarters for everybody here on the ship. So there's no reason to get all up uppity with me. Don't need to say anything at all. I'm glad to add another one to my crew. <laughs> Not a problem. Oh, well, I'm glad you asked. You see, I'm not really hunting for treasure or anything like that, nor even food, alcohol. Anything like that. Weaponry, nope, nothing like that. I'm hunting something a little bit more precious than those things. I'm trying to find another devil fruit. Mm-hmm. Well, of course, the first devil fruit I found, I ate it, and I gained these fire powers. It's pretty cool. But, I want my crew to indulge in these powers as well. So, the next island is said to have a holder of a devil fruit. And he's looking to sell. So, I have just enough money for a devil fruit that is worth on the black market. And, I'm hoping to buy it from him. Mm-hmm. things turn south, well, me and my crew are pretty confident that we can get that devil fruit either with paying or by force. Mm-hmm. And who knows? I already have a devil fruit, so I'm gonna give it to one of my crewmates. And one of those crewmates is you. It could possibly be you. Let me reword that. I'm not too sure which of my crew would like a devil fruit. Most of them will probably say yes, but I want to see who is more worthy of having these powers. Because having these powers means you lose your ability to swim as well. Mm-hmm. But I think that's a good sacrifice to have some Wicked cool powers, don't you think? Again, you don't have to thank me. Like I said, 
I'm glad to have more on my team. I'm glad to have more crewmates as well. Because, well, I consider my crew a family. And without my family, I wouldn't be nothing. So, instead of thanking me, thank you. Thank you for coming aboard my ship. Thank you for eating my food, drinking my booze, and even talking to me. I'm glad to have you a part of the spades. Alright, you rest up now, alright? <laughs>